you got a truck and a trailer, make sure that you you know you run up and down Seymour Highway and see who might need help hauling off limbs. Maybe if you got a spare chainsaw, uh, you know, bring it out here. There's Damaged rooftops, glass, and other rubble from the Rio Vista Plaza can be seen from afar on Seymour Highway. Some buildings are no longer identifiable. Mayor Steven Santiana says the first order of business is assessing the damages. Hopefully, you know, we can do our part and help as much as possible. We got city crews out everywhere. Um, I think we'll probably start, you know, uh, redesigning what we do. And, you know, some of these other crews that were usually doing parks might be coming in here and clean up a lot of this mess. In the neighborhood near North Beverly and 6th Street, residents expressed how shocked they were. It's like a, a disaster of all trees down, people trying to get them out of the street, and it's just, it's just amazing what that little storm, whatever it was, did. Danny Castillo in the same neighborhood, he believes his home was the most damaged on the street. Between all the damages and having an electricity problem, he's concerned with his medication. Got my uh, insulin in the fridge, they said to leave it in there for a while, you know, it'll be all right. But my house is hot as it is. The city has opened a couple of cooling stations, but they will close tonight at 8 o'clock. And while the cleanup may take some time, Mayor Santiana says he's glad to see Wichitans helping one another. You know, right now I just want to caution people, you know, when you see down power lines or if you see uh, stoplights not working, just make sure those turn into four-way stops uh, to avoid those power lines at all costs. Uh, but there's a lot of people. I mean, there's a lot of different agencies out here working trying to make sure we get this cleaned up. Brielle Brown, News Channel 6.